Good afternoon from the mountainsides of Panama. We're in Boguete, we're in coffee country. There's coffee farms all around us, all down on this hill, all over here. And soon here too. Well, he, he, Arturo's been scoping out our land. Of course. And do you already know what the elevation is? Have you already been looking to see if you can grow some plants here? Of I mean, we're right at 1600 meters, which is perfect for geisha. It's gonna have a great view. Yeah, so it's coffee with a view. How can you? It's coffee with a view, so. So we came up here today because we have something really, really special. We have arguably some of the best coffee in the world right now. So four coffees, the number one coffee in all of Panama, which is this one. Mm, yes, Our, it, in the world. Number one in the world? Yeah, in the world. Wow. Then the co our coffee, this is the morning movement coffee here. Yes. Then we have some of the Starbucks special specialty from Thanksgiving, only six months old. And also, ah, I forgot. There is a Catuayi anaerobic, also fermented from, from this year's uh, crop of Hacienda Barbara. Remember that farm? We sold yeah. the first uh, That geisha. farm is right there. Right there, down there. Yeah. So we're going to put them all in a lineup and we're going to see what we think when we compare all four of these coffees together. Will we be able to tell the difference between the Starbucks to the coffee that costs $1,100? So you're not supposed to know, especially you, not supposed to know which one is which. Is this how we open it? Oh, okay. Oh my God, they're so black. They're <laughs> all right, so step dark. number one of the, of the cupping is the aroma. Is the wow. fragrance. The fragrance. Yeah, it's the dry smell, fresh ground coffee. Okay. So, but first we assess, you know, you know I the gotta roast. Say something. Yeah. It does smell like fall time. <laughs> like what? Like fall time. Okay. Like, like fall. Thanksgiving. Like Thanksgiving. Okay. But very burnt. <laughs> burnt <Okay>. turkey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, the first thing we notice is the color. So, the difference in the color. And you've seen what are what can be some of the defects on the coffee, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, now if you pay attention, you'll see some scorched beans, like this, for example, Ooh, right here. Oh, it's burnt. Yeah, it's burnt right here. It's scorched. Uh, you see this one here? It's hollow. Wow. See, I'm, I'm we just just open it. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm not making this up. I'm no, just, for sure. I'm just making a, an initial and this visual one's assessment. The best one. Yeah. This one is yeah. This one is definitely um, burnt. burnt on the outside, but raw on the inside. See, as opposite as your morning movement, you see there's an even roast in all of the beans. Yeah, of course lighter, mm -hmm. um, but an even roast in all of the beans. No broken uh, beans that we can see or you know scorched. So how do they get the defects out of the coffee? Well, you have to do. Uh, gravity selection there is a machine that does a gravity selection and there's also hand pick selection mm. but in bigger uh, commercial production mass coffee uh, they don't have time or they don't care to do this because it's going to be done in a dark roast anyways so they're gonna you know it's all gonna be like the taste the same flavor it's right. gonna be like homogeneous is mm -hmm. the word I'm looking mm -hmm. for so when they do a dark roast it makes it all homogeneous but if you had these defects in the specialty coffee you would know you would know, of course. You would see it right away. You would you see taste it. it. Yeah, you would taste it. Yeah. You would taste it. The the dark roast gives you more intensity, but also hides a lot of the imperfections or defects in the coffee. But um, I mean, let's just I mean, let's just get it done. Let's just try it for ourselves. <laughs> you getting a little My chilly? ears are getting bigger <laughs> because of the cold. Go get your sweater. Go get your sweater. Woo, woo. All right. Okay. All right. Da 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 da. da, da. Like 200 bucks in your hands. Cut it. Do it. Cut. Do it. Do it. Oh. Cut it. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> okay. All right. Wow, so now. that smells so good. Mm -hmm. Let me get a sniff. Here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let me smell. Let me smell. Let me smell. Oh my god. <laughs> You can see the progression. I don't know if the the camera, if the oh, Canon right. camera is gonna grab all of the. Yeah, uh, it's doing great right now. Yeah. So you see, we have light, uh, medium, medium dark, and dark. So we had to come inside real quick. The rain was starting to come. But so it's okay because we have a bunch of coffee to grind. We got a bunch of coffee to grind, but little do these guys know, I have a little uh, lazy man tool. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was trying like with my hand, like going. Wow! <laughs> I was getting really tired and then he took me out of my suffering. Let me show you, Let me show you how much All better right. this is. <laughs> Look at that! 
You should bring this in your coffee shop, Arturo. I uh, know. <laughs> the people will love it. As we said before, we have the fragrance, right? Which is the dry smell of fresh ground coffee uh, that we did inside with a special tool. Now we have all the samples already in a medium coarse ground. And we wanted to mix them up, but I don't think it's going to be a brain, you know, surgery here to the, decide which one is which. Let me go ahead and give ahead, an unbiased, objective opinion, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, we have the morning movement. Nice, nutty, hazelnutty, like chocolatey kind of profile. And then we have the Tabux, which is, you know, because of the roast level. <laughs> I'm trying to find... I'm trying to find something. This is all burnt. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's actually, it's very intense. It's very intense, okay? spices but but because of the intensity I mean it's, it's probably not not fair to put it in a lineup with this oh yeah this is the geisha, it's geisha. you can tell yeah. you know the berry like it's notes so good. jasmine mm -hmm. and then we have the anaerobic yeah. you know uh, definitely standing out too you know in intensity totally but a lighter roast right so now we have the water at 93 degrees and I'm going to add the hot water I'm gonna keep track of the time right here and I'm gonna add hot water into each cup it's such a different mm. so I remember what you told us before uh -huh. where when you know a coffee is fresh when you see like this white whitish film and a lot of bubbles that's uh -huh. when you know it's like alive basically uh -huh, uh -huh. because of the degasification process right so all three of these panamanian coffees have that besides starbucks <laughs> that thing is just dark there's a few bubbles but there's you don't find that white film on top uh -huh, uh -huh. um that's some, that's some dead coffee right there <laughs> Okay, now it's time to taste. It's, Ooh, it's time to taste. Have you tasted the number one coffee in the world before? Well, as a matter of fact, I was working in the farm that won the award when they did. Oh, wow. And I was in the working, uh, learning from, from this great family. And I was working in the quality control department. So we were constantly copying and evaluating the coffees and deciding with the team, with the workers and with the family members and everything, uh, which was the coffee that was going to go to the competition. So I tasted it from the very first moment. Uh, we already know the drill. Again, know the drill, you, you know the drill. So you have to create an aspersion. Okay. Just take about half a spoon of the coffee and let's see what you think. Yep. There you go. One, two, three, and... Okay. Makes me giggle every time. You gotta get, make okay. sure you get up on your toes like that every time. <laughs> don't, don't, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Just taste it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. You okay? What'd you get? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? What was it? Like, oh, the Starbucks. Is that because of Starbucks? Stop! <laughs> you do it. <laughs> You go for it. You go for it, and I want to see you poker face. Oh, don't I'm make scared. anything. I'm scared. Do it. Do it. Do it. Don't 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 do anything. Don't poker face. There's nothing going on. Everything is dandy candy. It's sweet. Do it. Do it. Go. Oh, One, two, God. three, four. How was that even a real thing? You can't even see your your real face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell is that? Okay, I'm ready. You ready for it? You ready? You ready? I'm ready. You ready? You Should know what they are? Should we start at this one here? And we'll all say it together? Oh, uh, let's do it on three, two, one. Okay, on, right. on three, two, one. Alright, everyone point to the Starbucks in three, two, one, there. <laughs> okay, everyone point to the morning movement in three, two, one, there. Oh! No! No finger. It's definitely there. Oh, it's well, definitely there. Again. Yeah, hold try on, again. On, try on. again. Try again. Well, that means the morning movement is good. Yeah. Shit, you're right. You're so right. Oh my god. <laughs> all right, all right. She got confused for a moment. Okay, okay. Everyone so, point to the super expensive thousand dollar coffee in three, two, one. There. Oh! Really? <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs>
Wow. All right, there you go. And then this one is the anaerobic. This one is the really? anaerobic, which is very interesting, by the way. When you put it on the same table, it's uh -huh. very interesting. That's what the fermentation process does to your coffee. Control fermentation, that's what it does to your coffee. It makes it, you know, just outstanding yeah you know if you know how to do it and you do it well you control the temperature the ph and other you know geeky data yeah you will nail it and you will find it to be you know very very interesting so as someone who's very much a novice into specialty coffee what i taste when i drink this very very expensive thousand dollar pound coffee is it's just immediate sweetness uh, and it's natural sweetness and it tastes like berries lemon like berg bergamot Bergamot. Finish. Yeah, bergamot. And, um, and it's solely accurate with the descriptions of the international judges. Yeah. Um, when you go to the website, you can see what, what their what opinion they on, not just on this coffee, but on all of the coffees from the competition, from the Best yeah. of Panama competition. You have like a Dust? spot of uh, oh, thank uh, you. coffee. So I think the big learning for all of this is we could all identify the Starbucks right away. Right. But once you get into the specialty coffee realm, it's hard for the average consumer to differentiate between 85 point coffee and 95 point coffee. Totally. But there's a huge change, <laughs> there's a huge difference between commercial coffee and specialty coffee. It's yeah. just like you can tell right away, it's like, okay, that's commercial coffee, yeah. that's Starbucks Absolutely. or whatever commercial coffee it is, mm -hmm. and that's specialty coffee. Yeah. Like if I was in an island and there was nothing else to drink, I would definitely need sugar and cream to yeah. go along with that. Right. But with the other ones, you can see it's so interesting by itself right. that you don't need anything else. Yeah. That's what we've been talking about before. Mm -hmm. But but here um, we have some great coffees, and I'm glad the morning movement is one of them. <laughs> that, that that it you know it's it's like. It's like traditional, but it stands like by itself. Totally. So if some of you guys want to get your introduction into specialty coffee, we actually have a coffee company called The Morning Movement. We'll link it in the top of the description and you can go and get your little intro into specialty coffee. Arturo designed the coffee this way for someone who had never tried specialty coffee before. The idea is something that might be a little bit familiar to what you're used to, mm -hmm. a little bit familiar to commercial coffee, a little bit of a darker roast, right. but still like... Very unique. Very unique, brings yeah. that specialty coffee uh, specialty, the specialness. Yeah, specialness. specialness. The flavors. The but flavors, I think exactly. I think one of the most interesting things is that we are at the source of one of the best places on earth for coffee. Mm -hmm. So we are going to keep on working on new ways of uh, like, like dashing your palates and like showing people what else they can learn and what else they can experience. We have the morning movement coffee linked in the top of the description if you want to check it out. But we're going to leave you guys now. We've got the sun setting over here and Ooh. we have some of the best Panamanian coffee in the world. So I think we just got to hang out, make a nice little pour over. Yes, that's, that's what we're going to do. So we'll leave you guys with the sunset. Bye-bye. Right. Peace out. <laughs>